All right, and welcome to the video. In this one, I travel up to Accrington with my covers band to play a 21st birthday party. So the day all started with us filling up the van at the local petrol station. It's an absolute scorcher of a day today. I'm absolutely roasted, but nothing to complain about because, you know, it's very rare we get weather like this, but it is hot. All in all, the drive from Accrington from where I'm based takes about an hour, so it's not too bad. So the way that we get these gigs is we're signed up to an agency called Alive Network and they find us gigs. Obviously they take the commission and stuff, but it's a great way of us finding gigs. Nah, let's get in there for one. Let's get in there for one or two. Have you ever smelt a horse? So we've got all the equipment now out of the van. <laughs> um, we, <laughs> we're arranged like this because Ryan forgot to take the equipment out of the minute. So, oh, right. uh, left. We're just on the way to the pub to sort out the set lists at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is the hand that which I was cleaning my ass with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got a hole in the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're kind of comfortable, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, will be your, I, will, I, will, I will be your boyfriend. Just as <laughs> just as long as you don't start making goat noises. Oh, oh goat no! Oh, you're good. Nah, 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 Get a goat! Get a goat! <laughs> to the like two Kingston Hall oh, kitchen man. And uh, what? <laughs> Right, so all the set lists have been carefully crafted now and we're just going to head back to the house where we're playing, start setting up all the equipment and then we'll start playing the sets. <laughs> I don't think Josh has ever seen a game. Josh has done, because Josh has done grammar school. He, done, yeah, he hasn't done engineer. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> Ignoring your feet. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, fuck hell. Sense. Freedom. Is he good? And then just like, Look at that. That's rock and roll, that, isn't it? That's fucking punk rock, mate. What else do you need on there? A glass of whiskey. Double, please. With two rocks. I'm innocent. There's your rocks. Oh. <laughs> so I imagine that I have to make my whiskey myself. <laughs> Just got given some food, a bit of burgers and some sausages and that. I'll show you this. <laughs> Olive. Cheers. Right, so all the equipment is now set up and we're going to go on in five minutes. Not much else to report really. I'll show you the setup. We're playing outside, like on grass, which is a first for me. I've never played on grass before, but that's okay. We're also playing like under a tree as well, so um, hoping no spiders land on the edge. So we played three sets, each of them lasting about 40 minutes. So in total, that was two hours of us playing. And in each set, we basically just play popular covers that everyone knows. This is to get everyone sort of like singing and dancing and all that, which usually happens more and more as the night goes on, as it degenerates. We're gonna come back soon, thank you. <laughs> so the first set is now complete. We're just waiting to do the second set. Probably about another 20 or so minutes until we go, but what are you doing? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you lick your hand? Yeah. Oh, come on. Very, very so, that, so we should do a food fight as well. Welcome back.
For this specific event, the client had asked for us to play Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. So before we showed up to the gig, we had a rehearsal where we just went over that song. It was the only song that isn't on our list. Usually how it works is the client can get one request outside of our list, but they can also request songs that are on our roster, which is on the website where they found us. Hello, welcome back. As the night went on, a problem became very apparent. Due to it being summer and us being outside under a tree, there was lots and lots of flies. And I'm not talking sort of the common house fly, I'm talking midges, absolutely millions of them. The problem was I couldn't swat them away as I had both hands on the bass. So the best I could do was shake my head to get them away from me or wait till the song was done to swat them away. <laughs> Can we make some noise for Aston again that is his birthday? Please, please, please! 21st, come on, he wants me. Come on! Thank you, everybody, for having us tonight. Enjoy the rest of the night. Good night. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, I know a lot of people are talking. A lot of people are traveling a long way, so thank you all for coming. We want it. This is your lot. <laughs> thank you and good night. Oh. The event then concluded, so we packed down all the equipment, hit the road and then did the drive back, which was only about an hour. Oh, good Christ, I'm back home now. I'd say all in all, that was actually a very good fun gig. I enjoyed it. There was a nice, lively crowd, as I'm sure you probably saw. But I tell you what, though, those flies were unbelievable. It was so, it was horrible because I was playing, but because I was like playing bass with both hands, I couldn't really scratch my face and hair and stuff where all the flies were it was ooh, horrendous in fact now actually just looking at my arm i can already see a few bites appearing there was also a few minor inconveniences mainly involving spillages they were both very preventable so i'm going to take accountability for both of them the first one was tommy's tea on top of my arm i'm not sure if i got the footage of it but if i do i'll show you here yeah, he had his, his tea on top of my amp and I saw it there in the first place and I thought it'd be all right. But obviously the bass frequencies had shook it and it fell off and it landed in my like rucksack, you know, that I keep like basically everything in. So now that's soaking wet. And then for the second spillage, basically before I left, I got asked, oh, you know, do you want a beer? And, you know, in good spirits, I said, oh, go on then. So I had my beer and then we sort of like finished up packing and uh, we hit the road and I took my beer with me. And I was charging this phone in the van as well. So um, I had my, my beer there and my phone was like up sort of on a ledge. And then there was the wire and the wire sort of caught the bottle and the bottle fell over and it went all over the seat. And now it's absolutely sodden. And then we went up a hill and the bottle fell over again and released more beer onto the seat, which was annoying because I actually thought the bottle was empty after the first spillage. But oh well, I mean, I suppose it's kind of just a bit of a lesson, really. You know, I'm not going to let it happen again. Oh, and by the way, I've got these sunglasses on because I'm absolutely shattered and uh, you can kind of tell by my eyes so that's a bit of a a little bit of a hack for you but i don't want to tame the video by my whinging there that was only at the end and the rest of it was all good fun and um yeah great gig all right cheers for watching i'll see you in a bit yeah.